Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are talking about some good old-fashioned logic, De Morgan's Laws. So the two laws we're looking at are the logical equivalent of not P or Q, and then we're going to look at the logical equivalent of not P and Q. And for each one, I will also give you what they look like in set notation. So you don't really even have to memorize these. I think you can figure them out pretty intuitively just by thinking about it. So suppose that I say to you, I'm going to bring you to McDonald's or Burger King. In order for that statement to be false, that is not P or Q, all I have to do is not bring you to McDonald's and not bring you to Burger King, because I told you I would bring you to McDonald's or Burger King, so that would be false if I didn't bring you to McDonald's and I didn't bring you to Burger King. That's not P and not Q, and that's the logical equivalent of this. You can see it works kind of like the distributive property. We get not P, we get um, the negation of or, which is and, and we get the negation of Q, not Q. Works pretty intuitively. Now in set notation, sorry I wrote it wrong the first time, in set notation this is a complement of A or B, which is A union B, and that will become not A intersected with not B we just flip everything around. So A becomes not A, union becomes the intersection, B becomes not B, or complement B. And that's how that works. Now if we look at not P and Q, suppose I tell you I'm going to bring you cookies and milk, that statement would be true if I didn't bring you cookies, or I didn't bring you milk, or I just didn't bring you either, which is covered under uh, the OR statement. So this becomes not P or not Q. If I say I'll bring you cookies and milk, then the opposite of that would be to not bring you cookies or to not bring you milk, and that is what you get. Now in set notation, we could write this as the complement, that's not A and B, which is A intersect B, and that will become, you could probably predict by now, the complement of A union with the complement of B. So I hope this video helped explain De Morgan's Laws to you and uh, easy ways to sort of think through them if you ever forget them by memory. And this is also what they look like in set notation. So I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if you would like any other videos or need anything clarified. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here. There's a light where I float that erases